Well, Coach, I just want to jump right into it. Uh, just what have the last 12, 24 hours been like for you? I imagine it's probably pretty insane. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's just crazy. And, um, you know, I haven't been asleep yet. I'm living on Diet Dr. Pepper and Five Hour Energies. And, you know, we've done, I've probably done more media in the last 12 hours than I did all year combined, you know, and, and we actually do a lot of media at Oakland. We, you know, we've got a good fan base and, and a well, you know, three television stations, as you know, in Detroit and that. So it's, it's a great media market, but this has just been insane. It's been every 15 minutes since the game ended. Um, and, and at the same time, we're trying to get ready for NC state and, you know, trying to make this dream live longer. Do you feel like you're preparing your team with uh, enough background? You guys are looking at enough film, doing enough things to be prepared for uh, NC State on Saturday? Yeah, we play this goofy zone. And and because of that, there's only so much you can do against the zone. And so it's a little easy for preparation because, you know, what I've got every possession that uh, NC State played against zone this year, and it's probably only 180 possessions. So, you know, I, I got through that within a couple hours. And now, you know, we, we know what they do against zone. And we spent the day in practice trying to figure out how we're going to guard what they do. They've got some unbelievably good big guys and they're hot, man. They've won a bunch in a row. They're, they're the, you know, they're that hot team right now. And they dominated uh, uh, Texas Tech last night. So, you know, this isn't going to be easy, but who said it would be? I want to take it back to the Bowling Green aspect of it, the defiance aspect of it. You know, we're a Northwest Ohio station. You're a Northwest Ohio guy. Uh, how much do you think about Northwest Ohio of, of home? How much do you think of, uh, you know, the connections back here? Well, defiance Ohio is my home. I mean, it's always been my home. I'm proud of it. I, I talk about defiance all the time. I call it the point guard capital of the world. Cause when I came out, Jay Lehman and Kirk Lehman followed me out and, uh, you know, so I kid people all the time because, you know, the expressway goes by defiance. Now, instead of going in it, it, it goes by it. And I tell people all the time. So you're you're going to go right by the point guard capital of the world. Uh, but, you know, I love I love my life in defiance. I, I was very fortunate. I got coached by great coaches. Uh, what a what a tremendous childhood I had in defiance. And then I went to Bowling Green, which, you know, that's an honor to me that that uh Bowling Green accepted me and that, you know, they let me play sports there and and I got a degree from there. And uh, and I'm also connected to Toledo because I got my master's at Toledo and I, I worked for Bob Nichols for six years. And so the whole triangle of, of Northwest Ohio is my whole life until I, you know, till the 40 years that I've spent here. So it's very meaningful to me and I still keep in touch with people there and blessed that I had that lifelong experience. Is there something from that time that you still think about on a daily basis or something that you're always going back to? Well, yeah, I mean, I've got friends I hear from, you know, not daily, but periodically I hear from, uh, you know, probably 20 texts from uh, Bowling Green Toledo and and Jay Lehman texted me last night. You know, I mean, uh, he's coming to the game tomorrow. Jay's going to get in the car and drive to the game tomorrow. So uh kurt is in cincinnati otherwise he probably would have come too so yeah i mean i'm connected and i'm going to be connected my whole life to this area and it, it's very meaningful to me yeah uh, anything else you wanted to say I mean, I mean if could you imagine that you know when you took the job at oakland that you'd be in the position you guys are in i mean it was a d2 job when you started and now you're in the second round of the ncaa tournament after beating kentucky yeah, it's crazy to to think about the the journey that Oakland has come, and I've been along for the ride the whole time. And so, you know, the, the university's taken me on a hell of a ride, and we got a chance to do something special. You know, we, to get to a Sweet Sixteen. I, my first year of college coaching, I was at a, at the University of Toledo, and and we went to the Sweet Sixteen, and man, that was easy, right? I did it my first year, and now forty six years later, we're forty minutes away from going again. So. I really hope we can make it. So the kind of bookend my career would be pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. Andrew, is there anything else that you wanted to say? I, I think that's everything I got. Uh, Coach, I, I'm a BG grad as well. I I, I was wondering, NC State's probably uh, uh, scouting you. Any chance we see Golke go down in the go down in the paint or anything and switch the switch stuff up for you on offense? If Golke even dribbles, he'll be coming out of the game. All right. His job is to shoot it and shoot it often. I want to jump in there too, Coach. What has the last 12, 24 hours been like for him? I imagine it's just been even crazier. 
it's life changing. I mean, he, he's what do they call it? Trending on Twitter and whatever social media. Our kids were killing him last night, though, because uh, somebody had tweeted out and it got hundreds of thousands of views that uh, Kentucky's pros just got beat by a guy that's going to be working for an insurance company next year. And our players are on him bad at singing the like a good neighbor. State Farm is there to him and Jack Golke is there. You know, I mean, it, it's been a hilarious ride and, you know, he's taken it really well. But, you know, his life's changed forever. I mean, he he's down. He's in the lore. I think it's the greatest sporting event in the world, but sure, arguably it's in the top three with the Super Bowl and World Cup, right? And he's now in the lore of it. I mean, they're, that, they're going to talk about that performance and because it beat Kentucky uh, for years. I mean, you're going to see his picture making shots for years in that, and uh, that's really cool for him and for Oakland. Uh, one more thing. I, I know you mentioned bookmarking your career. Is, is there any chance that, you know, this is the last dance for you in Oakland or do you see yourself uh, coaching up there in Rochester for a few more years? No, I've got three years left in my, on my contract. And I think right now I'm probably in a position I could ask for a couple more, uh, maybe get it up to five and, and then figure it out in five years. But surely I'd like to go at least five more.